and somebody is in there right now. <laughs> Okay, so we're at the ferry port. We're going from uh, Bahol to Dumaguete. Uh, we just took a taxi over from Alona Beach, which is about 400 pesos for a car. This is an error. Yeah. <laughs> port. And we'll see how it goes. All right, so check-in counter, ticket in counter, ocean jet, check-in one and two. And of course, the terminal fee. Ocean Jet priority, teller one, two, three, four. Again. Hello, I like to sit in front. In front. In front. In front. Okay, after you get your seat number and your terminal fee, then you can go back to the actual door where they might let you in. <laughs> These guys were in front of us and they got turned away. So after you go through security, It's full the closer you get to the actual departure. And we're on our way to Dumaguete. Ship's a little late, about 10 minutes. Ocean Jet says about two hours uh, to Dumaguete, then it's going to Sikihor. Two person. Okay, very hot. <laughs> 30 yards, but it's super hot, so it's worth it. At least I think it is. And we're probably walking right to the hotel.
Riverside, Robinson's Mall, probably the newer mall in Dumaguete. Okay, so we're coming back from uh, lunch. We're gonna go grab some pastries and then head back to the hotel for a bit. Uh, we haven't been filming a whole lot. Dumaguete, there's not a lot in Dumaguete. We need to rent a scooter and get out. Wanna go to the waterfalls, but we'll see. In this cafe again. Dumaguete uh, ocean front in the daytime. A little dirty, not much beach. Uh, I think the uh, the drainage brings some of the trash up to the beach. Also, uh, it doesn't smell the greatest, but it's it is beautiful. But I definitely wouldn't be swimming out here. The source of the smell probably the pollution. It definitely, I think it comes from the upper part of the city and it hasn't rained in a while so I'm pretty sure this is uh, linked to some pretty nasty stuff. Anyway, another reason I won't be swimming anywhere near cities if I can avoid it. It's right this way. Remember this is where we came? Robinson Mall area. Yeah, so that's Robinson Mall area. Definitely a little crowded. Yeah, so we just walked by a guy with a gimbal. Obviously a lot less shaky than mine. Take a right up here, I think. Oh, no, it's one more actually. That's a hotel we're at. A little bit farther from the beach, but a lot nicer hotel. <laughs> very slow, very slow. Walking around Jumaguete. Okay, so this is our room. We just got in here today. Bathroom is nice-ish. Uh, it's a little older building, but it's okay. It's good, good location, good service. Breakfast included. We pushed the beds together, uh, so I'm sh not too sure how thrilled they will be about that. The view is pretty nice. What's this hotel, Excelsior? What's the name of the hotel? Hotel Essential. Essential. I keep screwing that up. Essential. The view from the room. The ocean over that way. And a nice view into the shower. We're gonna try that out a little bit later, aren't we? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Put that back. Yes. The buffet is over there. The barn is here. So this is like the second parade in, I don't know, about three or four days. It's been going on for about 30 minutes already. It goes all the way down, uh, down the road there, which is kind of interesting. Uh, supposedly it's like Christmas parade. But if you look back up in the mountains, that's where we're going to try and go tomorrow, where the, there's a waterfall up in... I think it's actually off over this way. What's the name of it again? Casa Roro Falls. Casa Roro Falls. 
So we'll see how that goes tomorrow. We're renting a scooter from the hotel, and we're going to use Google Maps and find our way up there. Anyway. Okay, so we're up on top of the hotel. The I think it's a volcano, but it seems pretty big for just a normal mountain. Pretty impressive uh, mountain to the, I think that's to the north. And we're gonna go up there tomorrow, supposedly, on, uh, on a scooter. Take a look at some of the waterfalls. Anyway, rooftop view is pretty good. Top of the hotel, probably off limits, but there's uh, some wedding party. They do pictures up here. <laughs> Can't see it, there's no light. But over here, beautiful off this way. That's where we went, uh, the waterfall. Over there. That's how you heat the water, you put it in there, and it makes the water hot. That's why there's only a little bit hot water. Some more chairs up here. Looks like somebody's been hanging out. Good. I'm glad we snuck up here because it was closed the past few days only with this wedding party There's a wedding party underneath cleaning up and we snuck in to uh, check out the roof <laughs> I like this building right down here. It's like a bandit theater but There's some kind of like condo up on top or something. It's completely abandoned. Um, it's called Ultra Biasan Ultra Theater. Cinema One. Yeah, Cinema One. It's like movie theater. Right. Anyway. Yeah, it looks everything looks close, but it's not. If they lock the door, we'll be trapped up here overnight. So I do really like the hotel window. It's uh, interesting. I end up finding myself standing here watching what's going on. There's little dramas down here with the ATM machines and uh, the spa over here and traffic and stuff. Anyway, it's interesting. And you get a good view of the mountains back there. But also in this hotel, it has a glass window <laughs> against the shower. And somebody is in there right now. And she decided to pull down the shades, but I think before there was no shade and you could just either watch your room while you were taking a shower or it's there for the purpose of watching the person in the shower <laughs> so that's uh that's my thought it is interesting i do think it's a good feature but i'm sure some people don't appreciate it as much as i do <laughs> oh i'm getting cut off So where are we? And Duma Gid. This is our probably our favorite or second favorite restaurant in. Uh, no, this is the first favorite. 
this is her first favorite. So she likes, I like the specials. Um, you can tell in Cialis, I'll pass the day. Um, we're on the ocean. You know, they get a little bit of traffic noise, but it is beautiful. And they're doing construction, so a little bit noisy. It's already here. This is the uh, port at Dumaguete. There's the main drag boulevard over there that everybody walks on. Waiting area for cargo. Not sure I would swim in the water, but it seems to be kids. So once you get through security, you come here and you got to go get your tickets actually issued. So we just really have reservations until they give us the ticket here. Yeah, yeah. Terminal fee is 15 pesos. We are here in Magueta Tatamila. the boat ocean jet to get it to Tagbilaran Tagbilaran to Cebu and it's one hour <laughs> delayed one hour delayed no very bad the weather's a bit rough twice as big as the boat we were just on. We had about 10 people puking on the other boat. <laughs> very slow, very cold, very sick. So the first boat we were on was small. 
and at least at least five or six people puked that we saw there were a bunch in the back also plus her so definitely uh, big waves at night nobody can see the horizon so it kind of threw everybody off we're in Cebu now we're looking for a taxi to go up to uh, the hotel we're trying Red Planet again uh, it was Toon Hotel before worked well for us so we'll see how this goes